Today's topic is blepharitis. Blepharitis is the inflammation of the eyelids. The eyelids are folds of skin that keep the eye safe from debris and injury. On the edge of the lids are lashes with short, curved hair follicles containing oil glands. Blepharitis commonly occurs when the tiny oil glands, located on the edge of the eyelids, become clogged or irritated, resulting in red eyes. The condition usually occurs in both eyes and involves the part of the eyelid where the eyelashes grow. It is a common condition that can develop at any age, but more prevalent in young children and people older than 50 years of age. Blepharitis is not sight-threatening, for example, it will not cause permanent damage to the eyesight. However, it can result in permanent alterations of the eyelid's margin. The condition can be uncomfortable and unsightly, but it is not contagious. If left untreated, blepharitis can lead to excess tearing, difficulty wearing contact lenses, development of sty, conjunctivitis, and corneal ulcer. Causes the exact cause of the condition is hard to determine, but different factors can increase the risk of getting the condition. This may include dandruff of the scalp and eyebrow, or seborrheic dermatitis, eyelash mite or lice, bacterial infections, poor hygiene when using cosmetic products, exposure to smokes, fumes, pollutants, and certain chemicals. Allergens, such as allergic reactions to certain eye medications or contact lens solution. A malfunctioning of the meibomian glands. Symptoms. Itchy eyelids. Irritated and watery eye. Redness. Loss of eyelashes. Sensitivity to light. Eyelashes that grow abnormally. Flaking and crusting of the area around the base of the eyelid burning or stinging eyes, sticking of the eyelids, frequent blinking. You should see a doctor if regular cleaning and care of the affected area does not improve your condition. Diagnosis. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will carry out a physical examination. During the physical examination, the doctor will carefully examine your eye and eyelid. The doctor may use a slit lamp, which is a specially developed, low-power microscope with an intense beam light source. In certain cases, the doctor may collect a swab sample of the oil or crust that forms on your eyelid. This sample can be analyzed for bacteria, fungi, or proof of an allergen. Treatment. Treatment options mostly include medical and home treatments. This may include washing your eye and applying warm compresses, prescription medications to fight infections, which are available in various forms, including cream, ointments, and eye drops, prescription medications for inflammation, such as steroid eye drops, electromechanical lid margin debridement, such as Blefex treatment, to effectively remove bacteria, mites, and open clogged meibomian glands, Intense pulse light, or IPL therapy, to open clogged eyelid glands. Thermal pulsation therapy, such as lipiflow, to melt any material obstructing the meibomian glands. Blepharitis caused by seborrheic dermatitis may be controlled by treating the underlying condition. The condition can be a recurring problem. The best way to keep the condition from coming back is to clean the eyelids daily, to prevent bacteria, eye mites, from building up on the eyelid margin. To clean the eyelids, wash your hands. Moisten a washcloth or cotton swab with the cleaning solution. Wipe your eyelashes and lid margin. Do this gently. Rinse with water. Repeat the same process for your other eye using a different washcloth or cotton swab. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.